in terms of imaging biomarker in the context of temporal dementia, the key ones will be um, magnetic resonance imaging and PET. And this because are two of the most widely used uh, technique. And with this type of technique, you can extract a number of different markers. So if we think about magnetic resonance imaging, you have measure of volumes um, with T1 weighted images, measure of um, functional or structural connectivity with resting state fMRI or diffusion, and also measure of um, uh, brain perfusion using arterial spin labeling. And when we think about PET, um, the uh, most commonly used technique is FDG, which allows us to um, look at the um, hyper hypermetabolism in the brain. And um, also we have measure to study the uptake of specific proteins such as tau um, and other measure of synaptic or uh, inflammation in the brain. When we consider the imaging biomarkers um, in the context of frontotemporal dementia and, and thinking about their relationship with other forms of biomarker, um, the information that they provide is extremely complementary with what we can see in the blood, what we can see in the cerebrospinal fluid, and also, of course, all the measures that are related to cognition and um, clinical measurement. So all this information are really interlinked, and it's important that when we think about what's the best biomarker for the clinical diagnosis of any FTD forms or for measure that we might be able to use in clinical trials. It's truly important that we consider all these biomarker together. So it's, it's thinking in terms of um, a combination of different uh, information coming from different fields.